my name is uh, Uriel Kayam. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. I just gave the opening uh, lecture for the International Academy of Cardiology meeting in Toronto, uh, and the topic was uh, peripartum cardiomyopathy. The uh, point that I tried to emphasize uh, were one, that uh, we have changed the definition and have removed the time limitation indicating that a patient who presents with heart failure during pregnancy almost at any stage or does not have a previous uh, history of heart failure should be considered of having peripartum uh, cardiomyopathy. The, uh, the second point that I would like to emphasize is that 50% of the uh, women with peripartum cardiomyopathy that we actually have seen over the years uh, have been missed in terms of the diagnosis, either late diagnosis or misdiagnosis, which oftentimes led to the development of, co of complications, severe complications, even before the diagnosis was made. The, the third important issue is that there has been a development of a concept for the use of bromocryptin for the treatment of patients with peripartum cardiomyopathy, it is based on cleavage of prolactin to a form of prolactin that has NGO uh, effect, uh, at the terminal effect on the uh, blood vessels and the myocardium and causing myocardial infarction. I've demonstrated the preliminary results, which are promising, and have made a statement that more data and, uh, and uh, large-scale control studies should be done uh, in order to uh, verify the safety and efficacy of this treatment before it becomes standard therapy.